What's up you guys? It's much, much later. I have harvested a decent little harvest here. As you can see, I pulled up all of my onions. Um, what you didn't see in the video today were my red onions. Now, I gotta be completely honest, and this is no shade to like, you know, the onion starts that I got. I think all of those were absolutely fabulous. However, what I did not do on my part was make sure that my soil was well prepared so i feel like that's why my onions didn't get as big as i would like them to um just to have like somewhat of a comparison even though like i don't have any onions from last year but um this is probably like the biggest size that i got this year um which isn't bad like you know so it's, it's a handful you know this is plenty for like you know a dinner i can use like maybe one or two of these depending on what i'm making so last year i started my onions from onion sets which were like the smaller bulbs and most of my onions came out like this size so it's a vast improvement from last year obviously these aren't from last year but in regards to my red onions so i did pull those ahead of time these were not getting big at all again this is no shade to um i got these onion sets from dixondale onions um i think i just did not prepare my soil well enough so I took some notes. I think next year I'm going to do much better. And I'm actually looking into doing some overwintered onions. If you guys have any experience with that, please leave some suggestions down below. I am in the Midwest region of 6A, zone 6A. So if you're in the same area and you've done overwintered onions, let me know of about some like, you know, varieties that'll work. Anyways, um, back to my red onions. So... <laughs> I went on ahead and did some quick pickles of these just because there just weren't many of them. So as you can see, I have like, these are just straight, you know, all red onion pickles. And I did put like a little dill in there just because I thought that would be a nice little, uh, little zest. And then in here I have like, I think most of them like got no bigger. Actually, oh yeah, I have one that I held on to. Most of them got about that size no bigger than that so what i did was i just sliced them up for these guys and then for this i just halved them and i put some garlic as well as some paprika pepper so these will be like a little bit more on the savory side while these will be like slightly sweet typical pickles um so that is pretty much it as far as my onion harvest video goes I think next year, like I said, I'm definitely going to do a better job about preparing my soil and fertilizing and all of that stuff. Like I said, I would love to see or I would love to hear your suggestions for any overwintering onions. If that's something that you do and you're in a similar zone, I would really appreciate all the suggestions down in the comment section below. But that's all I wanted to give you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure that you hit this with a thumbs up. If you like the channel, make sure that you subscribe. I wish you all health, wealth, and prosperity. And until the next time, peace out.